We are facing an existential crisis. Unlike anything the world has ever seen. We need to take action. Everyone has to stand up. The warning is not a new one. Our world faces a triple planetary crisis of climate change, nature loss and pollution. For generations, humanity, often without realizing it, has been destroying the natural world. In the name of progress, we have polluted the Earth's oceans, chopped down its forests and clouded its skies. Today, nature and our own survival rest on a knife's edge. It's time to ratchet up the action that we need to have at the country level. The United Nations Environment Programme was established with one goal in mind, to unite the world in saving our planet. It is clear that the environmental crisis which is confronting the world will profoundly alter the future destiny of our planet. For five decades, UNEP has used science and its mandate to bring the world together to help nations find solutions to grave environmental threats. What is this pollution that we have heard so much about? The Mediterranean is sick. It's being poisoned slowly but steadily for those who need it most. The 1970s found a world grappling with an unprecedented crisis of pollution. Could the seemingly irreparable damage be undone? UNEP inspired the world to take action, preventing oil spills and toxic discharge by ships uniting 143 coastal states to limit ocean pollution and save marine life, reducing air pollution and ending the scourge of acid rain. But soon, the world would face its biggest environmental challenge yet. The destruction of the ozone layer on a global scale is no longer just a theory. The hole over the Antarctica is no longer an isolated seasonal phenomenon. If the breach continued to grow, the planet would suffer lethal levels of ultraviolet radiation, harming human health, biodiversity and climate. In 1987, UNEP facilitated the Montreal Protocol. Over 30 countries agreed to phase out the production of almost 100 ozone-depleting substances. The protocol remains one of the greatest achievements of multilateralism. All nations gathered here to be proud of what we have achieved. This success set the tone for a series of powerful accords, limiting the movement of toxic waste across borders, protecting the Earth from dangerous, long-lasting chemicals, and restricting the international trade in mercury. Most recently, in 2021, UNEP finished a two-decade-long campaign to rid the world of highly toxic leaded petrol, saving an estimated million lives each year. As the world grappled with pollution and waste, Another crisis was brewing. I have dreamt of seeing the great herds of wild animals, jungles and rainforests full of birds and butterflies. But now I wonder if they will even exist for my children to see. Poaching and habitat loss were pushing some of the world's most iconic animals to the brink of extinction. Driven by science, UNEP supported a series of international treaties, limiting and in some cases banning the trade of endangered species, safeguarding migratory animals, expanding protected areas and increasing financing for biodiversity protection. The seminal Earth Summit in Brazil introduced the idea of sustainable development. This is an historical moment for the mobilization of all peoples of the world. Over the last five decades, UNEP has helped more than 100 countries enshrine the right to a healthy environment in their constitutions and produced scientific studies to guide member states in their decision making. In 2012, a new international body was established to provide scientific data on biodiversity in a joint effort from UNEP and other UN organizations. In 2019, it found that one million species face the threat of extinction, underscoring the urgency to act. Every action we take alters the Earth that future generations will inherit. The world is starting to recognize the effects of planetary warming, but UNEP began sounding the alarm three decades ago. 
As early as 1988, UNEP and the World Meteorological Organization launched the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. For over 30 years, IPCC science has helped member states counter climate change, earning the body a Nobel Prize for its work. UNEP-backed studies have informed some of the planet's most crucial climate accords. These include a 1992 agreement that set a template for curbing greenhouse gas emissions, followed by the Kyoto Protocol and the landmark 2015 Paris Agreement. I'm proud to announce that 175 parties have signed the Paris Agreement. UNEP has also mobilized 450 banks, insurers and investors to help create a more sustainable world. We don't want fossil fuels anymore. A lot has happened in the last 50 years, but it's the next 10 that will be pivotal for life on this planet. But in fact, what you and I and other ordinary people around the world can do will not by itself save the natural world. The great decisions, the great disasters that face us can only be dealt with by governments. And that's why this organization is so important. Over the past 50 years, we've seen when the world decides to act, the world comes together to act. Together with member states and partners, we've achieved a lot. But now is the time to truly make that lift for humanity and to do much more and much faster. And I have every reason to be hopeful. As an organization grounded in science, UNEP will do everything in its power to push for breakthroughs. Our planet and humanity depends on us. Together, we can build a greener and safer and fairer world for all.